Previously on the Entertainment channel, we removed the stock motor from our club car president. We sent the motor off to Plum Quick. The guys over there did the bandit upgrade to our stock motor. We are now able to hit speeds of 23 miles per hour by doing so. The stock speed was 12 miles per hour. This was a very easy install. I'll link this video and others in the description below. Next video, we installed a six inch lift kit from All Sports Manufacturing. On the same video, we installed some Trex 14 inch wheels with 23 inch all-terrain tires. The following video, we replaced the stock controller with a controller from Navitas. Also, it has on the fly programming on the dash. This gave us security, this gave us more speed, more so torque, but more safety as well. After these upgrades, we went ahead and added a 48 to 12 volt DC converter so we can start adding some accessories. We also did a full review on the Bazooka Party Bar G2 system and an install. Next, we swapped out this standard old body for the new 2020 look. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make wheel lights for my golf carts. Stay tuned. Now, before you start, you gotta decide on what color or what kind of LEDs you want whether you want weatherproof or non-weatherproof. And you can use both. And I'm gonna show you how you can use non-waterproof. So this strip right here, this is a all white strip. This is the same strip that I have on my main golf cart or my limo golf cart, it's all white. These LEDs are very close on the roll. I think there's a, over a thousand LEDs per 15 foot roll. They're really super bright white. These next ones are RGB, meaning they have the four wire connector here. The lights change between red, green, blue, any color in between, but they only, they all work together, meaning uh, at the big, very beginning of the strip and at the very end of the strip, they're one color. So if it's blue, it might fade into green, it might fade into red, vice versa. That's your standard RGB strip. This is your dream color strip. This is what we're gonna be making today's uh, video on. So dream colors, this strip has got the weatherproof coating, it's the silicone coating. It has a three pin connector on it. And if you notice here, it has arrows on the strip, meaning the LEDs can only be fed in series in one direction. The reason is because this right here, LED, and this LED back here can be different colors at the same time, meaning the fade can start back here and fade into, uh, you know, one color into another and on the same roll. Not like the RGBs where it fades from one color to the next color. This can start on the roll and fade from say green to blue. And this right here color can start a different kind of, you know, color there. These are dream LEDs. Now this is what you call clear heat shrink. Same thing you would uh, uh, heat up over two soldered wires. You know, it, it protects it. This is just in a larger form. So what I did on my limo cart is I put a non a weatherproof LED on there onto the ring itself. Then I put this right here over the LED and the ring itself. I cut the ring in half. Then I had to heat it to it so it would have formed fit. Now that's what I have on my limo golf cart. I've had it on over a year now and uh, it's still working fine. Now in order to make the rings, you can make them out of all different kinds of materials. You can use PVC. I've used that with the first set that I ever made. My second set I've made, I've used aluminum bar stock and I still have my same set on my limo cart. But on this cart here, I'm going to use a bucket. Now this is a two gallon bucket here. Um, first thing we're gonna do is cut this top portion off here so we can slide it better and cut it. Now I'm gonna be using a table saw. If you have tin snips or if you have a grinder, just be sure however you cut this right here to wear safety uh, gear on so you don't get nothing in your eyes or anything that flies up. So let's get started. 
Now what we did with the table saw, as you've seen, we went ahead and cut this piece right here off. Uh, you can disregard this, we're not gonna use it. Now, the next thing you wanna determine is how wide you want your rings behind your wheels that your LED sticks to. On my case here, the aluminum strap that I used was an inch wide, that's on my main golf cart, and I may go an inch, I may go an inch and a half here, we'll see, and go from there. Let's get started. On mine, we're doing an inch and a quarter. All right, so here's the circles. Each one of them's got some phrase in it. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up that close or not. I'm just taking a round disc sandpaper here. This is an 800, you can go, but I'm just rubbing it across the edge real quick just to help get the burrs off. Now, when you're getting started, you'll notice that one or both of your LED strips will have ends already on them. Now, I've already started messing with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here. I'm gonna cut this strip behind those little tabs there, and I'll show you why in a minute. Next, we're gonna wrap this around the ring. Now on these LEDs here, they don't have just a sticky tape across the back. It's actually like a piece of foam on the back that's very sticky. Now let's take this for instant here. Say we wanted to cut it along this strip right here. Once we cut it off, you wanna be able to pull. You're gonna grab this clear insulation here it's a waterproofing cover. Once you get your fingernail or the strip will show. Like that. And once you have the clear installation off, you can take your tool, get behind it, cut it off. I want to let y'all know to disregard these connectors here. Do not order them. I am not even going to put them in the description below. And the reason why is... After I got the entire process done, these clips here was failing left and right. So I didn't show on camera, but I used the same wire that you're gonna see in the upcoming shot is actually the same red, green, white wire. And I actually soldered each wire from the main jumper to the LED. And uh, I haven't had a problems yet. We went camping this weekend, actually, while I shot this video here and um rode around have not had a problem with it my other golf cart is actually soldered as well so do not use those connectors they will fail even on the wheel lights they sell as kits for cars and trucks they use wire ties to also hold down the led lights and we're going to do that to these as well these are just simple wire ties here i'm just going to go in here every six to eight inches and add a wire tie so I got my rings done. I'm gonna go ahead and ex extend these wires here. I got this right here cable here. It's a three conductor. It's the same colors as this right here in the same order. I'll be sure to place links in the description below if that's what you're into. Um, this right here comes in 10 meters. So I think that's around 30 to 32, 33 feet, something like that. So this is the wire I was mentioning earlier. I skipped. The whole process with the connector and just soldered that wire onto the led strips now since it's 32 feet i had plenty of wire to use so i'm using some aluminum flat stock this is like an inch wide inch and a quarter wide or whatever i placed it into the light and i got kind of like a measurement that i thought i needed and I made a couple of bends. It's actually like an S bend or a Z bend, however you want to look at it, but they're just 90 degree angles. So I use my bench vise to make the angles. Here I'm drilling holes into the mounts and into the PVC rings or the bucket rings as you would call it. Um, I'm doing this because I'm going to be using a rivet to attach these mounts to the ring lights themselves. The rivets I'm using is like a trifold rivet. I'll place a link in the description below where you can get a pack of them. It's pretty much the same rivets you use for the easy go bodies as well. 
So I'm taking a hose clamp and I went ahead and loosened it so I could fit it around the shaft of the spindle. That's what we're going to be mounting the wheel lights with, with the upper and lower mount. So once you have the um, hose clamp on, just tighten it up, you know, just to get it started. Lay the wheel uh, lights around the hub assembly and slide the Z brackets or S brackets into the hose clamp and tighten it down. This right here will allow the wheel to turn. Uh, it allowed a wheel light to turn with the wheel so it doesn't get caught up in a bind. So in this next shot here, I was still using the connector because I was still in the process of installing it. I thought these connectors was just gonna be, you know, the next best thing since sliced bread. Obviously, um, three out of the four worked great, but one I had problems with, so I yanked them all off and just soldered them. Then I'll know it was just, you know, good to go. Anyways, what I'm showing here is once you get the wire soldered, um, you're going to need want to leave enough slack at the very back of the uh, wheel light. And I'm doing so here is if your right wheel is turning left, you want to have enough wire to turn with the wheel so it doesn't want to rip the wheel light or actually jerk the wires away from the light itself. And if the left wheel is turning right, the same, you know, just vice versa. Because when your right wheel turns right, that slack is actually going to give you more slack. This right here will give you an idea of what the wheel light looks like done on the front. Just repeat this to the other side and um, you should be good to go. Okay, so when you're making the back mounts, it's very similar to the front. I'm just taking a pair of pliers and I'm bending this uh, flat stock aluminum to my liking. Now I'm actually running this over the, uh, or actually through the leaf springs and the leaf spring mounts uh, all the way to the axle itself. And I'm just making another you know, Ben, I'm running it straight to the wheel light assembly itself, and I'm making one for the top, and I'm making one for the bottom. Very easy to do, and it's very easy to bend, and you really can't mess this up. Once, you know, I have it the way I want it, I'm going to make one for the bottom as well, and then I'm going to add my hose clamp to the axle to hold it in place. I'm going to rivet the mounts to the wheel lights itself, and then the backs would be complete as well. This is the LED light controller. This hooks up to your phone via Bluetooth. It has a DC 5 to 12 volt input. Now it says it's tip negative and it's got a positive going to the outside shell. However, I'll go ahead and test this and it actually was uh, tip positive instead of tip negative like it showed on that casing. So I went ahead and cut the end off of that power supply there, which is a wall ward or whatever. I stripped the ends of that and I ran those wires to the output wires of my Mad Jacks Deluxe kit that I just installed. Um, you just need to run your power wires wherever you need to run your power and add a switch. However, this Deluxe kit had a switch, actually two switches on it, so I just ran my power wire to uh, one of those switches there. Now, once we have power supplied to the LED light controller, on the opposite end is a black, green, and red wire with a black plug on it. What I did is I cut the plug off. I connected all the red wires to the red wire of the LED light controller, the same with the green, and all of the white wires to the black wire itself, so they all run in sync. Once you have everything together, go ahead and put it all back together. And if you're wondering if these are waterproof or not, well... So I'm not going to be able to show everything on camera, but there is over a hundred different patterns you can choose from on the app that you have to download to work this with. Uh, so many different colors, variations of colors, so many different patterns, sequences, fades, all this kind of stuff. You can adjust the brightness of the wheel light. You can adjust the speed of uh, the pattern itself. Um, so be sure to download the app if you go with the dream color. 
um, uh, wheel lights. If not, you're just going to go with the RGB or the single colors as well. So this right here pretty much sums it up. It looks totally different from everybody else. Uh, that's what I like about it. Well, that's what I, what I used to like about it. I guess now a lot of people is going to start doing it. However, um, this is a couple of rolling shots at nighttime to give you an idea what it looks like with the dream colors. And um, yeah, appreciate you watching the Fentertainment channel, guys. Be sure to give this uh, video a big fat like. Uh, it helps the channel out. I do appreciate it every time you guys do that. Be sure to share this with a friend. Um, when you subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification to let you know every time that I post a video. I'm sorry, I got to say that. My daughter is reminding me, Dad, you got to keep saying that kind of stuff. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching the last few clips. Y'all enjoy, and uh, we'll see y'all later.